Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, Governor of Anambra State, Charles Soludo, has called for elected officials to start earning minimum wage, highlighting the urgent financial crisis facing Nigeria, speaking Wednesday at a special edition of the platform, an event organized by the Covenant Nation to promote national development. The governor said Nigeria is a very poor and broke country, but the lifestyle of government officials does not show it, especially with the obscene flamboyance in public display. He proposed that these officials should be paid the minimum wage to understand the harsh realities faced by ordinary citizens, stressing that the current system is in a state of denial about the nation's financial condition. At number two, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, has alerted on increasing cholera cases nationwide with 30 deaths, 1,141 suspected cases, and 65 confirmed cases reported. Disclosing this in a public advisory, the Director General of the Center, Dr. Jide Idris, said the cases that occurred between January and June 11, 2024 were reported from 96 local government areas in 30 states. He stated that the 10 states that contributed 90% to the burden of cholera include Bayelsa, Zamfara, Abia, Cross River, Bauchi, Delta, Katsina, Imo, Nasarawa, and Lagos states. He urged Nigerians to be wary of the increasing trend of cholera cases across the country as the rainy season intensifies. Idris advised Nigerians to reduce the risk of cholera by ensuring that water is boiled and stored in a clean, covered container before drinking. He said people should practice good personal hand hygiene by washing of hands frequently with soap under running water. Also ensure that food is well cooked before consumption. Avoid open defecation. Indiscriminate refuse dumping. Ensure proper disposal of waste and frequent clearing of sewage, amongst others. At number three, the Kano State Police Command has issued an order banning all Durba activities throughout the state for the upcoming Eid al Kabir Salla celebrations as part of enhanced security measures to ensure public safety and peace in the state during the festive period. In a statement released Thursday by the Police Public Relations Officer, SP Abdullahi Haruna Kiawa, the police command said the ban on Durba activities, which is a significant traditional event post Eid al Kabir, followed extensive security reports and consultations with relevant stakeholders. This is the first time the Durba has been cancelled since the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. The three-day Durba is the largest festival in the state with a splendid display of horseback riding and cultural activities that always draw a large crowd from within and outside Kano State. At number four, a massive fire at an oil refinery in Iraqi Kurdistan raged for about 20 hours and injured at least 14 firefighters, who on Thursday finally brought the blaze under control. The fire broke out in a major crude oil tank on Wednesday night before spreading into a second refinery on a road southwest of Erbil, the capital of the autonomous northern region of Kurdistan. The civil defense agency has said the cause of the fire remains unknown and the firefighting efforts lasted more than 16 hours and involved over 40 teams. The civil defense agency said the fire, the cause of which remains unclear, started in one refinery before spreading to another. Iraq is one of the world's biggest oil producers and crude oil sales makes up 90% of budget revenue. And at number five, Edin Terzic has resigned from his position as head coach of Borussia Dortmund despite taking the club to the UEFA Champions League finals. The 41-year-old reportedly tendered his resignation yesterday in a meeting with the board and they decided to terminate his contract. Terzic won the DFB Pokal and guided Dortmund to a second-place finish in the 2022-2023 season across his two spells at the club, Nuri Sahin has taken over as interim coach. Despite reaching the Champions League final, Dortmund finished fifth in the Bundesliga in a disappointing campaign for the Dier Schwarz Gelbin. That's it on what's happening. Thanks for watching.